All right, I'm really excited to review some Church Bible publishers here. I'm going to compare this beautiful burgundy turquoise from Church Bible to this compact clarion. Now, this one is a uh, hand-sized Bible and uh, just beautiful. I mean, look at that. I mean, that's like uh, like better than a Skylar spine and for $60 and then for around $53. Um, just incredible. I'll be comparing them to a couple other church Bible publishers that I have and uh, a pit minion. But um, this turquoise is uh, obviously not the color of the Bible. It's um, That's the font and layout plan that the King James uh, Cambridge comes in from the old 1920s. So um, it's called a turquoise because it does have that classic verse-by-verse -verse layout that we could get into a little bit uh, later. Um, but one thing just right off the bat about this turquoise from Church Bible Publishers, and, and again, you can get one in any version as long as it's the authorized King James Version, but man, the colors, you can get all kind of stuff. They had cranberry, milk chocolate, that's vanilla cream, which just goes amazing with the uh, honey ribbons and the gold. Uh, um, I've had it, so you can see the gilding can, can go sometimes. I've marked it up a bit, but man, that buffalo skin just really looks great and distressed and yet sturdy. Um, but this is uh, calf skin, and it's corporate. This would be a mid-sized corporate, just to uh, compare kind of the size there. Uh, Again, a hand size versus a mid size. And then you have the big boys, right? Um, like similar to like a sovereign size. This would be the compact and it's in red and it's also iron caskin. And look at that grain, like how that's just gonna, the more you use it, it's just gonna break in more and more. Came in this awesome gold box. Um, what a cool kind of leaf pattern. Um, but we'll look at the, cameo uh, compact here in a second but just right away awesome smooth um, uh, fairly flexible not as flexible I would love to see church Bible publishers start doing goat skins that are as flexible for instance as like an Allen or a Skylar that would be amazing because the fact that this is a ministry guys and it's a Baptist ministry um, out of Texas, and then I know they went to Cadillac, Mission, Michigan for a while. I think they're back in Texas now. Um, if they could start making some of this pebbly um, goat skin, like this soft, uh, and I know it's unfair to compare a $230 Bible from Youngblood uh, Allen uh, to Church Bible Publisher, but this one, these are tanks. They're going to last. They're sturdy. Um, it's just there's something to be said for how um, this leather is also thick, but also just super flexible. Like it's just, it wants to just kind of flop, uh, you know, the NAS Allen Reader, uh, a good mid-sized Bible. It just really is like butter in your hand. Whereas this is more soft, but not quite as flexible. I'm sure as you use it over time, it'll get more flexible. But um, a lot of times... Uh, CBP Bibles are kind of uh, stiff outside the box. So you might need to work them out a little bit. And you know how Eric 1111, I love his Bible reviews. Shout out to you. He kind of massages the leather and, you know, he'll, he'll roll it up and he'll watch it kind of just snap back. And um, he'll do the corner work so it can hug right in there. And you can see like as you use this over time and this perimeter stitching, uh, I mean, just look at that. As you use this more and more, it'll just hug over that that book block. I mean, I think that their gilding is better than Allen or Skyler. I mean, it's just incredible. It's got that sparkle. It's just beautiful. Um, this is burgundy. When I first opened it, I was like, I guess I got a chocolate brown Bible. But then I, I remembered, and, you know, you look at the the satin ribbon and you go yeah this is a burgundy um hand size and uh, uh some of the other colors were out of stock i mean some of these are going fast like their milk chocolate and everything else but um just a beautiful bible it's edge lined so you can see here 
they tuck that leather into this uh, cardstock paper so that it looks almost like these pages are going to be stuck together, but they're not. It's to just reinforce the binding so that the pressure isn't all just on the back of the Bible here. You actually um, have some of that leather taking that pressure and just last much longer. Um, you can see the inside uh, looks like, I mean, I know it says iron calfskin, but the, the inside of it feels like maybe genuine cowhide. Um, whereas the inside of this, uh, this is also iron calfskin. This would be like a synthetic. You can tell it's almost vinyl-y by the shininess. Um, beautiful carry to church Bible. Uh, first red Bible I've ever gotten. Um, but yeah, this burgundy almost has a brown to it. And you look at the corner work and you go, you know, reasonable. It's, uh, I'd, I'd say there's nothing. Well, that's, that's some tight work there. And it is Smith sewn, so you can see here the tail band, bands, if I could get a better view. Looks like they're red and yellow. And uh, the cool thing about sewing into the binding instead of just a paste down is it'll last much longer. And you'll be able to see that over time, uh, you know, these little signatures, you can see sometimes the sewing there deep down into the gutter of the Bible. Um, but um, Smithstone Bibles, or Smithstone, if you want to be fancy, are very nice. Um, so they have these uh, kind of introductory pages, a lot of places for notes, and then presentation, family record. Uh, again, if you get a, a turquoise from Cambridge, you're talking well over 200 bucks. Well over. So again, for about 60 this ain't bad at all. Churchkjv.com. If you go there, it just automatically takes you to churchbiblepublishers.com. And you can uh, follow them on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Although, probably a good idea to just pick one. <laughs> Stay off Twitter. Too many trolls. But um, I've always liked that humble insignia there. Church Bible Publisher. Just a little church and steeple. Used to be local church Bible publishers. Um, and then uh, the owner uh, went on his own. And uh, again, this is uh, King James only. That's the only ones they do here. The best things have been columniated. Columniated. Zeal to promote the common good, whether it be by devising anything ourselves or revising that which hath been labored by others. You can see the old British Elizabethan uh, writing here and the spelling. So they have all these translation notes to the reader. Um, uh, you know, I love New King James. I love NAS. I love ESV, uh, the English Standard Version. Uh, I love a lot of different ones, but there are some people that... They only go by the 1611. Um, okay. And let's check out the fonts. The classic Cambridge turquoise fonts. And the reason Cambridge uh, came up with this is they're the oldest book printer in the world. Back in, the, in 1591, they printed an edition of the Geneva Bible, and then they started printing... Uh, more and more Bibles throughout the year. So they're the oldest. Get a tight little shot of that. I'm sorry, I'm doing this one-handed. Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night. The firmament, like the sky. Center column referencing. And uh, the font, uh, good for a hand-sized Bible. Um, don't quote me. I'm just um, eyeballing it here, literally. Um... I'm going to say about a nine-point font, and then a little bit smaller on the Cameo. We'll look at that in a little bit. It's always nice to go to the uh, center of the Bible to the Psalms. Verse by verse, and this entire Bible is verse by verse. In the day of my trouble, I sought the Lord. My soul ran in the night and ceased not. My soul refused to be comforted. Just very poetic. I mean, classic King James here. 
all bold font, so a little easier to read, uh, a little easier on the eyes than some others might be. Like if you compare it maybe to um, this uh, NAS reader, um, it's not quite as bold, you see, in the NAS, but it's a bigger Bible, so they're using a little bit bigger font. It's probably more of like a 9.5 or 10. Okay. And, uh, you know, they have all the specs there on the Church Bible Publisher. Just look up the uh, handheld um, uh, or the hand sized uh, turquoise. Um, now, in a second, I'm going to compare it to this one, which is the compact cameo and just to give you kind of an idea it is a little bit smaller um you know it can be placed on top shot from above kind of hard to see there but it's definitely a smaller more handheld bible or is this one uh give you an idea of the font size Never mind i am doing this one-handed, we'll compare Psalms 132 to Psalm 132. Why not? Almost turned right to it. Okay, so this isn't going to be exactly the same layout, because, uh, but just to give you an idea of the font size, I would say this more like a, uh, maybe like an eight-point font. So a little smaller than its uh, turquoise brother. They're both in the corporate series. Um, I mean, quite a bit difference between the uh, the coarseness of like a vanilla cream. The, these also come in milk chocolate, really, really cool. And this is a mid-size, so you're gonna get a bigger font. Again, something closer to 10 uh, when this looks more like, you know, it could be an 8.5 or nine. Um, definitely easy enough to read. I mean, you might need reading glasses for this. Church Bible Publisher also has awesome large print Bibles. I actually got a couple for my parents. And I swear, guys, you'll get $100 Bibles from them that are like $200 Allens. A little bit of shadowing there. I apologize. I'm doing the best with the lighting in this, in this room. When you, oh, they do have a concordance, I'm pretty sure. There's notes back here. Uh, Bible dictionary, you don't see that in a lot of, uh, it's kind of an old school thing. Um, a lot of times you see a concordance, but not necessarily a Bible dictionary. Kenites, probably a Medianite tribe descended from Abraham by his wife, Keturah. Um, yeah, Abraham had a few wives. Seems to never work out well when they have that many wives. Uh, concordance. There it is. So you can cross-reference. Pardon. Exodus 23, 21. He will not pardon your transgressions. It all points toward Jesus. He fulfills it all. You come to the back. These uh, This map is nice and matte. Easy to write on. Not reflecty. Vivid colors, but not an overly shiny pastel kind of thing. Just beautiful earth tones uh, over here. And just obviously more vivid over here, but still just very classy uh, with Palestine here. The wilderness of Paran. And it gives quite a few of these. Syrian Empire. Let's see how many maps it gives. That's map number 11. This is map number 12. Israel, the Dead Sea, and dare I say, one, two, map 14, and map 15, the last one is modern Israel. There's Tel Aviv. They, of course, moved the capital recently uh, to Jerusalem a few years ago, and uh, they got a few more blank pages in the back. You can see these are stuck together because it is edge-lined. Very nice. And uh, yeah, it's right out the box. So it just mm, got to smell. It smells great. It's kind of like uh, almost walking into like a country western store with a bunch of boots and belts. It's, it smells like that. Um, 
Whereas like, if you're into the smells of leather, there's something about an Allen. It's almost like a salty um, leather smell to it. Um, and just to compare to a Pit Minion, um, this is uh, more towards the size of like the Cameo. Um, but definitely it is not as thick. Okay, so the Cambridge Pit Minion is uh, only about 87 bucks right now on Amazon. It came in two days, um, but uh, you know, it's not edge lined. It's got some paste down stuff here, but um, really small font. I mean, it's almost like six point, um, but just, uh, you know, it's definitely smaller than the handheld and it's more comparable uh, to the Cameo. Okay, and of course there's the Clarion and the Concord, if you want to look at those as well. But that would all be King James, like this one here, which is in brown goat skin. Um, not a very flexible goat skin like the uh, NAS Reader, but still nice. Decent little ribbons, pretty actually. And they kind of catch the light. But you can see these are both small Bibles. Let's compare kind of their font. Um, just opening up on Proverbs here. And on Proverbs here. So that would be in the pit minion. Nice little compact one you can carry to church or anywhere. And that would be, again, the, uh, that would be the uh, cameo. So uh, this would be NIV. And this is, of course, uh, King James Version. Okay. So um, a couple more things just on this one, because we didn't really look inside um, that much. It is edge lined and uh, the rest of the Bible. Um, I want to say, yeah, the words of Christ are in red in this one, whereas in the turquoise, they are all black. Um, the red looks, uh, it looks good, you know, it's not as dark red as the Cambridge but um, definitely better than some of those Bibles where the red almost just looks pink. And uh, God, Ephesians is one of my favorite books of the Bible. Honor thy father and mother. Center column referencing. And uh, there's some maps in the back too. Um, they look very similar to the ones we just looked at actually and feel nice in that if you if you write on them i don't write on my i don't even write in my bibles that much but i can i can see how how you could i feel like i write on like the uh sermon notes page that they give you at the door but um yeah the more you use this the more this will kind of come over the top and just be real nice um they just again they do great gilding and uh, nice little ribbons there. You might want them a little longer. I like how these are uh, a little bit longer. That's a nice uh, size on those. Um, they look good. I mean, we'd have to get pretty picky here otherwise. Another great spine. They got one, two, three, four, five little raised ribs there. The spine hubs, you know, similar to the other one. It says Holy Bible, authorized King James, and CBP at the bottom. So just like uh, just like the turquoise. So again, we got the burgundy turquoise, the red cameo uh, compact, similar to um, the Canterbury compact actually, and uh, um, a little smoother. The Canterbury is going to be more of this pebbly kind of goat skin, which is probably my favorite overall, but there's something about nice, smooth, uh, ironed calf skin. That's just the real, real classy touch. So awesome work from, uh, Church Bible Publishers.